Welcome to another video. In this one I show you the difference between Arctic Silver 5 and Cryonaut from Thermal Grizzly on the CPU. And I had the Arctic Silver 5 first here. I did a few tests and if you want to see those you can make the video go slower. If you want to see these tests I had to change a few settings in the BIOS. I even did a BIOS update to make sure the CPU is boosting properly and the seed here, the, the speed of the CPU and the temperatures, everything and this is how the fan, the CPU fan sounds like while it's testing it got a bit noisy but nothing serious so okay, time to change the thermal paste on the CPU I had to remove the graphics card first and now I'm removing, for AMD you should always wiggle the heatsink. The cooler you wiggle it like this before lifting it so that you don't lift the CPU with it. That's a little bit of extra thermal paste from the previous application. Not too much there at all. And yeah, it covered it covered pretty well. I mean, it's, uh, it's did a good job I guess really covered well mm, yeah this is the Arctic Silver 5 it's not conductive but it's capacitive and yeah this is the new thermal paste the thermal grizzly Kriona wood it's supposed to be better I guess but we'll see really about that the conditions in the room are the same I can't remember the temperature but it's the same day literally about 30 minutes to one hour between the tests the difference really is that the new thermal paste is too fresh and it didn't have time to adjust and settle on the in all the places where it's sitting but here i'm trying to not to put too much thermal paste so hopefully this is enough i also don't want to put too little now, any joke aside, this uh, cooler heatsink has those uh, grooves in, in between the pipes and I really want to make sure those are filled with thermal paste and okay, I usually put maybe more than I have to but it's going to squeeze out on the sides of the CPU and it's going to be fine for me at least. Here I'm attaching the CPU back and I wanted to make sure that I show you this part, this lever, this handle has to go back in that position, make sure it's tight, secured and starting it. It's always nice to see that it still works. Just monitor it, make sure it doesn't go up. After installing the heatsink back and with the new thermal paste, check that the temperature doesn't go up too fast in uh, BIOS. Uh, if it does, shut it down and reinstall it. After replacing the thermal paste with the thermal grizzling Creon out, the temperature looked a little bit better, but a new cooler would be much better. 